Okay. I hope you can see me fine because I really don't want to have to do this over again. I got my camera sitting on a different stand than usual. So, let's see. What do I have to talk about today? Anything in the news? I don't think there's anything going on. Look, here goes Cheyenne. She's starting to whine. She's sleepy, so I'm just going to let her rock in her chair. And if she starts crying, I'm not neglecting her. I'm letting her whine. Because I just rocked her and tried to get her to sleep for like an hour and a half. Yes, an hour and a half. I sat on the couch and rocked her. And she fell asleep and I put her down. And Noah came running in here when he was supposed to be taking a nap and woke her up. So I had to put her back in her swing because usually that gets her to sleep. Hair's all up in my face. Oh. And so anyways, now she's in her swing mad because she's tired and her brother woke her up. Oh, I can't listen to this. Hang on. Now you better get in that bed now. Go lay down. I mean it, son. I'm gonna thank you. I ain't playing. I'm not playing, Noah. Go lay down. Okay. So Justin's out of town on a trip. He left this morning. He had to drive to Little Rock, and then he had to fly to Atlanta, Georgia, and then he had to fly to North Carolina. He works for a computer shop in uh, El Dorado. It's about 40 minutes from here, and uh, they do a lot of work for Murphy Oil USA. If you know what that is. If not, well, I'm sorry. I'm not explaining it. So he had to go up to North Carolina to a gas station and work on their computer system, which is always fun. I feel like y'all can't see me. And I can't see me, so I can't tell if y'all can see me. Okay. So, what's the matter, little girl? How are you not happy for some reason? So, anyways, my friend... My friend Lee called me yesterday and asked me to come to her baby shower. She's having a baby in February, a little boy. And this is somebody that I've been friends with since I was in like the seventh grade. And she's really flighty and she's dingy and she's one of those type of people that's always around and up your butt whenever she doesn't have anything else to do. But as soon as something else comes along, you never hear from her. Take for instance, I haven't even seen her, I haven't seen her more than three times in the past year. And I know that because whenever I got pregnant with Cheyenne, I didn't see her until I was six months pregnant. And then she came by right before I had her, and then she came by when she was a month and a half old. So I've seen her three times in the past year. She never calls me either, unless she wants something. And she called me yesterday to invite me to her baby shower. She never came to my sh my baby show for Cheyenne. She didn't even ask me about it. She did. She's not got me. She didn't get me anything for Cheyenne, which I didn't expect her to. But you know, she's ex she expects me to. And I'm not. I don't have the money to spend on a present for somebody that I don't even hardly see anymore. I don't even have the money to spend on a present for somebody that I do see. I mean, it's Christmas. We just got a ticket last month that we've got to pay on. And we've got Christmas to buy, and we have our other bills to pay for. And, I, I mean, you know, $15 don't sound like a whole lot, but I don't even have $15 to go buy or something. And I know she's going to be, be pissy about it, and she's going to call me and want to know why I didn't come to her baby shower. And maybe that's mean to me, but the way I feel about it is she's not there for me, so why should I be there for her? We're not really that good of friends anymore. We've kind of grown apart, because I grew up and she didn't. So... Anyways, um, no, I drew pictures. I'm going to try to show y'all if y'all can see. This morning I told him to draw pictures, so he drew circles. It's his favorite thing to draw, if y'all can see him. And I'm just going to beat him. Here's some more circles. And there's a triangle kind of in the middle. He was trying. He was trying. Yeah, um, when I say I won't beat him, I don't really beat him. I spank him. But there's a difference. But beat him just comes out of my mouth. The Christmas tree. <clears throat> For those of y'all who are so freaking worried about the Christmas tree, I had the lights on today, okay? I didn't take it down. I'm not hiding it. I just forgot to plug it in. So, I won't do it again, I promise. I swear. 
It's up there. It's back there. Till Christmas is over. I don't take my tree down until after New Year's. I'd leave it up all year long if Justin let me. Okay. Well, I don't have much to talk about. So, uh, just a little bit of random crap. I don't think there was anything in the news I wanted to discuss. Besides the ho, ho, ho. Has anybody else heard about the ho, ho, ho being taken out of Christmas? It's fucked up, ain't it? Excuse the language. Yeah, they took it out because they said it was derogatory. Somebody somewhere got pissed off because they want, they assumed that Santa Claus is calling out the hoes, I guess. I don't know. They took it. You're not allowed to put it on merchandise and you're not allowed to say it. Santa Claus ain't allowed to say ho, ho, ho anymore. Oh, well. Next year there won't even be a Santa Claus, so we better cherish him this year. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.